Mike with Old Florida Fly Shop, and today we're going to be talking about how to fly fish the Tamiami Trail. For some people, the Tamiami Trail is just a way of getting from one side of the state to the other. But it's far from that. Within the 90 mile stretch, you get a totally different ecosystem and habitat that houses a variety of species and most of them are eager to take a presented fly. One of the biggest things about the trail is it being a mainly on-foot fishery with the option to extend your backcountry adventure with a small kayak or canoe. Before getting into the fish that live here and the gear you are going to need, let's talk about the trail and why the fish live here. The trail is a two-lane road connected by a multitude of small bridges and pull-offs that let you access the water that you will be fishing. North, above the trail, are three natural preserves. These natural preserves filter fresh water through the Everglades south, mixing with salt water to create an incredible and unique habitat and ecosystem that is thriving. The trail is a pretty gnarly place and not for the faint of heart. Beside the standard gear that you are going to need, let's take a second and talk about the extra gear to be prepared while on the trail. One of the biggest things is just being aware of your surroundings. With there being alligators, snakes, spiders, and very fast traffic behind you, the best way to stay out of trouble is just to keep a sharp eye out and be conscious of what's going on. Alligators are very prevalent in the area and are very used to seeing humans and are not shy by any means. Be sure to check the banks while approaching a new area to fish, as these gators will blend right in while taking the sun and sneak up on you while you least expect it. Having a long sleeve shirt and pants to protect you from the sun foliage, and mosquitoes is not a bad idea either. Sunglasses, a hat, a neck guard or buff is a great option to keep the sun from burning you. Bug spray will help you big time in the humid summer months. Winter isn't so bad with the bugs. With tarpon, snook, jack crevel, peacock bass, largemouth bass, and snakeheads calling the trail their home, there is no shortage of them and depending on the conditions and the time of year, you can almost always find them. One of the biggest determining factors of where you will be fishing is salinity level. A general rule of thumb is the further you move out west on the trail, the saltier the water gets. You will notice a big difference in habitat right away. Some signs of salinity levels are lily pads being way more prominent in the freshwater areas and red mangroves and sawgrass in the saltier areas. A standard 6 to 8 weight 9 foot rod is going to be what you want on the trail. A 6 weight provides a sporty fun fight on all the fish on the trail, while the 8 weight allows you to throw bigger topwater flies for peacock, bass, and snakeheads a little easier. Some tips to help you catch your targeted species. With most fish being ambush predators, you always want to look for moving water. Further out east in the more freshwater area, these locks hold a good concentration of fish and are always worth a stop. As for flies to throw, we have put together the ultimate Tamiami trail box containing 25 specifically selected flies to have you covered in any situation you run into on the trail. Now you know a little bit more about the Tamiami trail and what to expect, so what are you waiting for? Go out there and explore. If you want even more information about the trail or want to check out the fly box and other gear, head over to oldfloridaflyshop.com or click the link in the description below.